In this video, you'll see how to automate account creation using AWS Service Catalog. You'll learn how to quickly generate accounts for your AWS organization, configure baseline templates to employ during the creation process, and provision the new accounts using those templates. In order to do this, you'll see how to deploy an example solution, which will create an account vetting machine, or AVM, in Service Catalog. You can clone and download the example solution from this GitHub repo, and then modify it to meet the needs of your organization. To see how to deploy the AVM solution, let's take a quick look at the current setup. For the purposes of this example, an AWS organization is already set up in this master account, but no member accounts have been associated yet. We've also created an Amazon Simple Storage Service, or S3, bucket, where we have placed the reference code for the AVM solution. Let's take a closer look at it. There are several different components to this AVM solution. The Account Creation Lambda Setup file is a CloudFormation template that will create the AVM as a service catalog product in this account and deploy a Lambda function. The Lambda function itself will be used to create a new account in this AWS organization and then configure resources once the account is created. This Account Builder CloudFormation template will trigger the Lambda function in this account from the AVM. Finally, the Account Baseline CloudFormation template will be deployed into the account that is created and provision an AWS Service Catalog portfolio with a set of predefined products that can be deployed on AWS. The Lambda function will create a user with least privilege access to these Service Catalog products. The first step is to create a new stack in CloudFormation. Let's take a look. This stack will deploy the AVM product to Service Catalog. Specify the URL to the appropriate template file hosted on Amazon S3. Now give this stack a name. Next, specify the Identity and Access Management, or IAM, entity to perform the account creation from Service Catalog. Navigate to the IAM console and find that entity's Amazon resource name, or ARN. In this case, let's use an admin group that has already been created. That way, all administrators will be able to use the AVM product. It's important to note that the IAM entity you specify needs to have the Administrator Access Policy attached. Let's copy the group ARN so it can be entered in the CloudFormation template. Now, specify the source bucket and source template for the CloudFormation launch template. This is the file that will be used to trigger the Lambda function and kick off account creation within the AVM. Let's proceed through the rest of the wizard. Review the configuration, accept the terms, and then create the stack. The AVM is now provisioning in this account. Now that the stack creation is completed, let's review the resources that were created. As you can see, the Service Catalog portfolio and the AVM product have been created, as well as the Account Builder Lambda function. Next, let's navigate to Service Catalog to see the portfolio that was just created. The AVM product is part of this portfolio. As you can see, this portfolio has been configured to allow access for the admin group. Let's find the AVM in the Products list. Here's the AVM product that has been deployed to Service Catalog. Next, let's use this AVM to provision a new account. First, type in a name for this provisioned product. Click Next to continue. To create the account, you'll need to provide some additional parameters. First, let's find the ARN for the Lambda function that will create an account. Here's the function that we deployed. Copy the ARN and return to Service Catalog. Next, let's provide additional details, including the email address for this new account, the account name, and the AWS region where you want to configure a service catalog. Specify the S3 bucket where the baseline template file is being hosted. Let's take a moment to briefly look over that file. As discussed earlier, this baseline template file is used to provision a set of predefined products in the service catalog of the new account. 
You can customize this file depending on the AWS services you want to make available in your organization, or even create a series of templates for different account needs. For example, here is the definition for a Linux instance running on Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2. All the template details from an AWS Service Catalog reference architecture hosted on GitHub are specified. Now, let's return to the account creation screen and complete the process. Review the settings and click Launch. Notice that the account status is shown as under change because it is in the process of being provisioned. The CloudFormation template that triggers the Lambda function is referenced here. So let's navigate to CloudFormation to take a look at that template. The Lambda function has been triggered successfully and the account is being created. This process will take a few minutes to complete. You can review the account creation process or troubleshoot any issues by viewing the CloudWatch logs file. Here you can see the beginning of the account creation process, and then a few seconds later a message indicating the account was created successfully. Next you can see the baseline stack running to create the portfolio of products in the new account. Based on customer feedback, this script also deleted the default Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC, for each region. Now return to the AWS Organization screen. Let's refresh the screen to verify that the new account was added to this organization. Now that the account has been created, the product page in Service Catalog has updated with additional information, including the username to use when accessing the account and the login URL. Next, let's switch to the perspective of an end user who's been provided access to this new account. Sign in using the provided username. In this case, the password was defined during the account creation process, and the user would be asked to reset the password on logging in for the first time. You can set your own business rules for how a password is generated. Now that you're signed in, let's navigate to Service Catalog. Here you can see all the products that were added to Service Catalog by the baseline template file. These are the services that are available to provision in this account. Notice that if you try to navigate directly to a service not on this list, such as RDS, and provision it, you will be unable to do so. Instead, you will receive an error message saying that you are not authorized to perform the action. You've just seen how to automate account creation using AWS Service Catalog. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.